everyone, my name is Wu Hei Yu Hegui. Today I would like to share with you my reading rights of the ending part of the Gifu tree. After a long, long time, the boy came back to the place where the tree had been. He wanted to have a chat with her. However, the only thing that she could see was a piece of construction site. The boy was stunned and sorrowful because he knew what had happened. The boy did his best to run to the exact spot where the tree had lived, while he kept telling himself that everything should be fine. His thoughts were in a muddle. Although the boy was now an old man, he clearly remembered where the tree was because the memories between them were important, as it always had been. After a few minutes, he arrived there. There was nothing left except a letter, and the boy fell on the ground. He groaned. No, no, this can't be true. Tree, tree, answer me. But of course no one answered. No words could describe his sorrow. The wind blew. It seemed like it was trying to comfort him. The letter floated on him, and he opened it with his trembling hands. Dear little boy, how are you? Sorry for calling you a little boy. I know you aren't a little anymore, but I used to call you like that. I had a feeling that you might come, so I wrote this letter. These days, I kept seeing the trees around me being chopped. When you see this letter, I'll probably be gone too. Just don't be sad because in the end I'll die. It's just a matter of time. When you weren't with me, I felt lonely, and I could not help thinking about the days we were together. I remember how you loved to swing on my branches, to eat my apples, to do a lot of things with me. However, when you grew older, you were busy. You stopped visiting me. I don't blame you because when people grow, they start to forget what they loved as a child. I, Tree, have two wishes. I hope you can live well and keep your faith. Second, I hope you can love me truly from your heart. I granted people a lot of wishes and I hope mine will be granted too. I believe that's not too greedy. I love you. Goodbye. The tree who loves you from the beginning to the end. After reading the letter, the boy stood up and calmed down. He felt guilty, but the letter gave him encouragement. He decided to live healthily and always remember to do the right thing. He now knew that it would never be too late. The boy closed his eyes and whispered. His voice was softer than the wind. After that, he walked away from the forest. This is the end of the story. Thank you.